Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our AGS 37 vegan and we're looking at adding waypoints from marker points in the F10 map. So until recently there's been two main ways of adding way waypoints. One is to do it in the mission editor to preset waypoints there or use the input computer here to add waypoints in northing and easting. But now you can create them really easily directly from the F10 map which is great. So we're going to press the F10 key to get to the map. We are here. We're going to create some waypoints so we're going to click so that the label mark labels are on and then click on the mark or label button here and i want to create one here left click and you created it here fill in a name in this part and we have to do this in ascend ascending order starting at one and they have to be a b or an m b for normal waypoint m mic for an attack or a target waypoint so b one there and let's have another one which is going to be our target on that house there which is M2 and another one to RTB which is going to be M3 uh, sorry B3 okay back to cockpit now before we this is we have to do this before we load, load our data cartridge in so it's warm it's a hot started vegan no data cartridge loaded yet next we need to look at some keys that we will need adjust control so we're going to need kneeboard on off we're going to need uh, kneeboard previous page, kneeboard next page. We're also going to need select data cartridge down, select data cartridge up. And if I were you, I would all rebind these to separate keys. Don't use the ones that it suggests because that didn't actually work for me and um, I caused all sorts of problems. So I bound them as different keys. Okay, bring up the kneeboard, so right shift and K, and we're going to cycle through the pages. I'm going to go right until we get to our page of interest. Uh, this one, ground crew settings, okay? And we've got different data cartridges. Different data cartridges we can select. Data cartridge currently selected is zero. We can cycle through them with the data cartridge command that we saw earlier. So we're going to start cycling through them. I'm going to go right. One, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, the number will pr probably be different each time, but what we want is it to say cartridge from marks on the F2 map. And you can see here it contains three marks, obviously the three marks I put down. Now, with that selected as thus, we're now going to put our cartridge in. And we're going to do our usual gumpf of mass, uh, this mode here to ref longitude latitude input 9099 and LSSKU to accept it. Wait for it to go zeros. Back to default position out here and we should have some waypoints now so let's check so we're currently on airport waypoints if we go to bravo one we can see we've got our waypoint 10 kilometers away go to waypoint two you can see we've got our mic our attack waypoint two 18 kilometers away and waypoint three is going to be really close because it's rtb one kilometer away so that is waypoints added in via the f10 map super easy so i'm going to use that all the time now one thing to point out is that we do not get an update here on the waypoint page so if i were to cycle back to the default page, uh, whoopsie, that one there. Although you can see that there are some waypoints added, there's two waypoints added here, and I wasn't actually expecting that, but as far as I can see here, they're not the actual ones that I added. Whether that will be fixed and they will show in here eventually properly, I'm not sure, but that's how it is at the moment at least. Uh, that's it, so go create some waypoints, bomb some stuff, and have fun. I hope that helps, and see you later.